Hey, what is going on, Madden family? You guys probably saw it, but we're going to talk about it. Most feared information. It might have leaked out a little early before the stream, um, but I'm going to go into a little bit of depth. I'm not just going to read. I want to talk about it, right? So th let's look at this first picture right here. Mo monsters. It's, it's part one. We don't know how many parts there are, but it's part one. And they're all big guys. Was, think of it like Scary Tall from last year, probably. It says, add all 10 boss monsters to get 94 overall. Calvin Johnson. You will also get back all the boss monsters. Nat. So you get 10 cards back. Is Nat. Which means it's 11,000 trading points if you so choose to just quick sell them all. But some of them are useful. Uh, how do you get a boss monster card? Well, well, there's a couple ways. You can turn in 10 elite and 20 gold monsters to get a fantasy pack, and you pick whichever one you want. So their price should all be the same, honestly. Um, or you can turn in little monsters and a monster token and get a net one. Right? Does that make sense? Now, what are little monsters? You will choose 5 of 10 to add to your roster. You play solos. You, you build them up, and that's how it works. They, they grow and all sorts of stuff. They're solos, and you can get like a free 90 overall, essentially. Um, like these solos right here, right? You guys see? You guys see right here? That's not. That's not terrible. That's not terrible. Looks like I said the entire solo string. You're gonna get all. You're gonna get five of these cards. You build them up to an 85. You beat it. You're gonna get this next token. You're gonna get a free 90. It's not too bad. One free 90 is not a bad thing. Um. I mean, looking at the coins, too, it's not too bad. It looks 34 solos. That's not terrible. Now, what about the actual, the actual, the actual boss monsters, right? We got Anthony Barr, who is a power-up. This card, just the card art looks amazing, by the way. Uh, 86 speed on him, which means after he's powered up, which means after you had double spreader to him, he's 89 speed. That's a really good card. It's a really good card. Kelvin Benjamin is a quick, he's being quick sold so fast. Uh, Calais Campbell. I always really like Calais Campbell's cards. Um, not a bad card. It's not a bad card at all. DRC. Now, if DRC had a power up, if DRC had a power up, we'd be talking. But uh, the card's actually not that good. It's, he's fast. 86 zone is not good. You can't really get it up that high. So uh, he might leave the team. Or I might keep him just in case he ever gets a power up. Zach Cunningham. Quick sell for training. Jared Goff. For some reason, they show his 83 here for whatever reason. Um, on the front and the 90 on the back. Just go with it. Uh, not a bad card, but I don't need a quarterback. Jared Goff, you have been quick sold. Jimmy Graham, mm, six foot seven, and he's gonna be fast. I've got power up Jimmy Graham already. He's coming home. Derrick Henry, I will try him out. He's gonna be like Eddie George. That's my. Guess. He's gonna be just like Eddie George. Very, very good card. Derwin James, rookie premier upgrade for all of us. A ninety overall. A six three. Strong safety. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good card. His own coverage is a little low. Uh, but it's okay. Kyle Long. Again, I mean, if you need a right guard, Kyle Long needs him right here. He, it looks like he can get secure pass protector probably. And then the master himself, Calvin Johnson. There's got to be more to his card stats because it's not overwhelmingly good. Um, didn't show him as a power up. Um, interesting. Uh, I hope he does get a power up because that would be weird. Um, if he doesn't, his short his, his route running is it's pretty good. You'll be able to get it to ninety, no problem. Uh, spec catch. He's he's like a faster Herman Moore. That's really looks like about it. Is he going to be worth his price? Probably not. But. We'll see. We'll see. And then it says that there's going to be more coming. So 
I'm still going to tune into the stream, hoping they drop some more information about the next part of Most Feared. Would be really nice. Uh, I'm not always a fan when they drop them in waves. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I don't. I'm gonna. I'm gonna withhold judgment. Um. Yeah, it's not a bad. Not a bad start. It's not a bad start to the promo. Whatever it is, it's not a bad start. So, I'm excited to see what the packs are. How expensive everything is. That's really the main concern to me. Um, if you do the Calvin set, you have the option of getting a ton of training. Like that's enough training to get a 92 and a 91 primetime performer completed that's pretty good or you can keep the 90s if you really want them it's up to you so far it's a good start hopefully the cards come out of packs well but it's a good start 